All right, guys, we're not gonna waste any time in this video and we're gonna get right to the point. So if you guys saw in my last video about the G80 M3, I mentioned to you that I did a whole bunch of stuff to protect it from the sun, from different elements, and I mentioned that I wanna do one more thing to protect it, specifically the interior. Now, as a quick recap in that last video, I mentioned to you guys that I PPF the carbon fiber roof, which we are gonna be ceramic coating in the future, along with a whole bunch of other carbon on this car. In addition to that, I tinted the windows all around, including the windshield, to hopefully protect the interior from the sun and from UV rays. These are Expel window tints, so these are ceramic window tints. They do help with repelling those UV rays and hopefully making it that the leather in here is not going to dry out and start to crack. You guys can literally see how strong the sun is on this dash right over here. So I do want to protect this interior. It's really important to me. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things about the car, the carbon fiber bucket seats, the ivory leather. So similar to how I said, I'm going to be ceramic coating some parts of the exterior of the car. I'm going to be ceramic coating the interior. Now there is a brand that I've used in the past, specifically on the Apex wheels on my F30 and it worked really well. So they also make a ceramic coat for interior leathers. Now I'm probably not gonna ceramic coat every part of this interior because I kinda wanna try it out first, see how it does, and then maybe we'll ceramic coat more of it. So this is what I'm gonna be using today. It is made by that brand, Gion, Gion, I don't really know how to pronounce it. I think they've actually been sponsoring some people, so if you guys wanna sponsor me, hit me up. But anyways guys, I used this same brand on my Apex wheels on the F30, and it ended up working really, really well. So I figured I'd just go with them for the interior as well. Now you guys can see on the box, this does say leather shield, hopefully you can see that. Now it does say it protects all types of leather, which is good, because I have no idea what kind of leather this is. And then it also says somewhere on this thing, from liquid, dirt, and UV rays, which is good because hopefully it'll help keep the white interior cleaner for longer and then it should also protect it from the sun. Now, obviously we already have some UV protection from these Expel ceramic window tints, but this is just gonna be that extra layer. And again, it's gonna hopefully keep the white leather interior cleaner for longer because as I'm sure you guys can imagine, white leather, it's hard to maintain and it's hard to keep clean. In fact, I've only owned this car for maybe like two, three months. I've lost track at this point. But in that short time that I've owned it, the leather is already starting to stain. You guys can see it right over here. Some parts of the bolster, some parts of the armrest. Now, although I've owned the car for three months, I've honestly barely driven it. I've mainly been driving the 330. And I've only put about like 1,500 miles on this car, which isn't a lot. And again, in that short period of time, I already managed to stain the leather. Now, it's not that bad, but before it gets any worse, I want to protect it. So again, this here should help with that. Now, again, I don't know how well this is going to work. Before I ceramic coat the entire interior, I'm probably going to start off with some of the key areas. So what I'm thinking to start is going to be the carbon fiber bucket seats, of course, because that is going to be a main contact point. I'm going to do the armrest in the center because I'm not going to lie to you guys, I do use it a lot. And I'm thinking of maybe doing the steering wheel, but I don't know. I'll see when I get to it. So we're going to start off with those areas first. We're going to see just how well this works. And if I like it and I need to buy more, or maybe I still have some in the bottle, I'll do things like the leather dash, the tops of the leather door cards, and then the entire back seat, which is going to be a lot of work because it is a back seat. But I'll be honest, I'm not too worried about the back seat because literally no one sits back here. Sometimes I put a car seat back here, but I put like the pad below the car seat. So the car seat isn't really touching the seats. But regardless, I would still like to protect it from the UV rays. So we'll see about that when we get to it. But like I said, for now, we're going to focus on those main areas. Now, in order to do this, according to the instructions on this thing, we first have to clean the leather with a specific leather cleaner. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. And then after we can start applying this, we're gonna let it dry for about like 20 minutes. And then we're gonna wipe off the excess with a microfiber cloth. So as you guys saw, I cleaned the armrest and I went ahead and coated it with the ceramic coating. Now this armrest really wasn't that dirty, so I didn't show you guys like a before and after. It didn't look much different after I cleaned it. If you guys are wondering what I used to clean it, I used this Chemical Guys leather cleaner. If you guys want any of this stuff, by the way, I'll leave everything linked down in the description below. And then for the coating, I put the microfiber cloth on the applicator pad. Then I put a few drops and just kind of coated it along. Now I do have to wait 20 minutes for this to be done. And then after that, I believe I have to just like wipe off any excess. I know some of you guys
guys are probably detailers and you're cringing about how I'm doing this. And some of you guys have probably done this a few times. Keep in mind guys, this is the first time I'm doing it. I'm just trying to learn as I go. So hopefully I don't screw this up because again, this interior is very, very important to me and it's a very expensive car. So with that said, we're gonna keep on going. I think next I'm gonna do the seat and then honestly, I'm probably gonna end up doing the door card as well, at least on the driver's side because I do put my arm here and I wanna keep it protected. But before I get to the seat, I wanna show you guys some of the stains that we have so far so you guys can see that over there i think this is probably the worst spot so hopefully even just cleaning this is going to make it look a lot better i think the spots right over here on the shoulders are the worst and then also on this bolster this seat's definitely going to take me way longer so i think i'm going to break it out into sections maybe i'll do the bottom first and then i'll do the top maybe i'll do the top first then the bottom because i'm probably going to have to lean on the bottom All right, so as you guys saw from those clips, I finished up the two carbon fiber bucket seats and they should hopefully now be protected. Now it is a hot day, so I'll be honest with you guys, like I said in the beginning, I wasn't planning on doing everything because I knew I was gonna start to sweat up a storm and I wasn't gonna be able to stand being out here much longer. However, I did have some more energy and I decided to do the door cards on the driver's side, which I did film, and I also did the passenger side. So that now means that this part over here is all protected. I decided to do that because honestly, when I'm driving, I usually put my arm up here or even here. Like I said before, the seats are also protected. We already talked about the armrests. So I guess going forward, all that I really have to do is the dash up there, maybe the steering wheel. I wanna look into that a little more because I don't know how it's gonna react to like the ceramic coating. I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but I just wanna look into it a little more before I actually ceramic coat that. And then I also wanna do the back seat at some point. But again, I'm not too stressed and worried about it because literally no one sits back here. And even after doing all that, I still have a whole bunch of this stuff remaining. So this stuff definitely goes a long way and if I'm being totally honest I probably used too much like I probably could have used less and been totally fine but just because I've been super paranoid I put a little extra which at the end I ended up buffing off anyway so it's kind of a waste but hey it is what it is I'm learning guys but the point is we still have plenty left to do the parts that I was talking about. Again, if you guys want this, I will leave a link down in the description below. But at this point, I'm pretty much good to go. Hopefully the interior will be nice and protected. It's not gonna be bulletproof, but it will be more protected. Like if I spill something on it, it'll be protected from the UV rays and hopefully it won't stain as easily from my clothes. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how well it does and if it does do well i'll do the rest of the car and i'll probably even do my other cars but anyways guys that was one more step done of keeping this one hundred thousand dollar m3 protected so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again if you need any of this stuff i'll leave links down in the description below if you guys didn't watch my last video about the other ways that i protected this m3 i would highly recommend it i'll leave it linked somewhere but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop it a like hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and yeah with that said this video is pretty much done and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace Thank you.